Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, so today we're gonna do a review on the Smart PFB 16. Um, I'm gonna be vaping on the uh, Ghost uh, vape vape lush. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, today we are going to be doing a vape review on the uh, Smoke, the Smock TFV16 tank. It's uh, the King. It just came out not long ago. Um, I've already been vaping on it. However, we're just going to do an unboxing and do all that stuff. I'm vaping on the uh, Ghost Vape uh, Vape Lushing. Um, you know, mod. It's a Korean mod. It comes with. Uh, well, I'll show you what it comes with. Nice little package here with all your information in it. But probably comes in there uh, in Korean. And uh, you get these extra panels that actually come off the off the mod and go onto your mod and stuff. So you can customize your mod the way you want. It's a pretty decent mod right now. I have the Freemax Pro on it. Uh, I'm gonna change out my battery before we start. Uh, great screen on it. And here we are with your screen at 70 watts. It's pretty nice. Currently vaping on the uh, SBRF uh, Raspberry and Dragon Fruit Iced Tea. Amazing flavor. Uh, I highly suggest this brand for you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and package this back up. There we go. So, it's a nice little box. I'm adjust my screen real quick. Uh, the uh, so the Smock TFV16, um, made by Smock, obviously, is a great addition for cloud chasers. I would not necessarily suggest that uh, you use it for anything other than. Uh, then uh, clouds because well I'm gonna tell you right now firsthand that it uh, does not create great flavor it creates some sort of flavor but it's more of a a uh, low quality flavor um, with a high quality cloud output I always have to vape it over 100 watts if the airflow is outrageous so here we are TFV 16 tank. Uh, one and the package comes with one TFV16 tank, nine milliliters of juice. Uh, mesh one TFV16 mesh, 0.17 ohm coil, and it's pre-installed. One TFV16 dual mesh coil, 0.12 ohm coil. One bulb glass protective silicone sleeve. One glass tube replacement. One user manual and some spare parts. We're gonna figure out what spare parts is on this. So here we are. We're going to open it up. I already used it. I just put it back in the box for this video. Uh, so everything's in here. First thing I noticed when I open this is it comes with a nice little gel pad to keep everything nice and fresh. So here's the, uh, the tank. So I'm going to give you a little size comparison here. So we got the Freemax Pro 2 and we have the TFV16. That's how much bigger it is. So for people that love big tanks, TFV16 is the way to go. And so we're going to keep the Freemax off of it. Um, keep unboxing this. So you got the, the tip that comes off, the removable tip. I'll, I'll show you all this later because uh, we're going to keep unboxing. So one thing I love about this box is you see most of these boxes, it's hard to get this shit out. and So it's kind of hard, but they give you a nice little stringy here. Uh, so here's your user manual. And then here's your authentication warranty card thingy. 
And here is the dual coil right here. I'm pretty sure they sell them in triples as well. However, I was told the triples aren't as good. And you get the rubber uh, diamond. I don't know if y'all can see it. Rubber diamond uh, sleeve for your tank. Protects against you know breaks and stuff. I wouldn't completely use it for brakes and stuff, but you know some people out there will do that. However, it is very unsafe. I highly did. I highly do not recommend it. So you take your sleeve, you put it on right over top. So I'll show you that in the end of the video. Right now, we're going to keep on doing this. Uh, so spare parts. The spare parts is going to give you another uh, few O-rings, and it gives you a sleeve for your top. Um, so that's nice. It gives you another uh, little rubber band here for your tip, I believe that is. So here we go. Oh, and your glass is there too. So the way it went was your user manual was on top, and then you had your thing, a little holder. Make sure your little sleeves up so it's easy to take out. And then a cap. Always keep your box. It's worth more money that way. Okay, so here we go. So we got the uh, the cap. First thing I notice when I open this up, right? So with the other smock uh, tanks that I've had, all of them had a little rubber filament here, right? One thing I like about this is the hole is a lot bigger to put your juice in. And the airflow hole is a lot bigger. And Smock took the rubber um, guard out. And I think that helps a lot because not only are you're not tearing them anymore and they don't slip out. Now, on top of that, it makes it a lot easier to clean your vape and not so much juice goes underneath the rubber filament thingy. So then on the bottom here, you got an adjustable airflow right here and so I have the rainbow colored tank the seven color and they come with colored tips I'm gonna take it off for you and they unscrew so they don't come all the way off but they unscrew so that is so here's your tank here's your tip they don't come all the way off boom just like that so that's why it was hard to take off right now I have the single coil in here and I believe they all are mesh coils now. They're no longer um, regular coils. So here's one thing that the box says. It says Cloud King, King Flavor, King Capacity, King Airflow, and King Pleasure. I would say the pleasure or the flavor one is a complete lie. So the single coil reads. 0.17 ohms, 120 watts. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my batteries on my vape real quick. Wrong side. It's the only thing I don't like about this mod. This mod is a uh, has no DNA chip in it either. So go ahead and pull my other batteries off the charger here real quick. So I got my green batteries now, fully charged. We have one and two. They're in there. I'll put my backpack on. I'll go ahead and clean off the top here because you know everybody gets that vape juice inside of here. Okay, so now the 510 pin on this is just a regular 510. Probably, I believe that's gold plated. The bottom of it, TFE 16, designed by Smock. Has your little CE certification on the bottom. So here we go. Putting a TFV 16 on right now. So we're going to go ahead and juice this up. It's uh, my favorite juice, the Raspberry and Dragon Fruit Iced Tea. Well, the first thing you're going to notice is this thing takes a lot of juice. Nine milliliters. So 
So it's finally full. And we're going to go ahead and crank this baby up to 100. I'll, I'll hit it at 75 to show you all real quick. The airflow on it is outrageous, I'll tell you. So we're at 75 watts. Firing time pretty fast. So I'm going to keep the airflow completely open at 75 watts, right? Open airflow all the way through. Nice airflow in there too. Here we go. Trying to do a five full down. One thing I don't like about mods is they lock so much. And they all have different settings. So here we go. It's my coil says 0 0.17, my mod saying 0.15 ohms. So we're gonna go ahead and hit. So that's at 75 watts. There's really no flavor, no heat, very smooth vape. I don't really see any difference at 75 watts. So here we go again. I'll hit it one more time. So that's at 75 watts. We're going to go ahead and crank this baby up. 100 watts. Here we go. Remember, max is 120. So we're at 100 watts. Like I said, pretty fast firing time. So I'll read it to you. Firing time is probably 0.1 seconds. Great cloud output. Here we go. Massive clouds. So now we're going to go to one. 10, which is where I usually vape this at because you don't ever want to go like more and too close to the coil waters you'll burn your coil out too fast so great it uh the flavor is a lot better with a fruitier juice I was using a uh, dinner lady lemon tart before this and it was not the best but I think this is a lot better now um, we're going to go ahead and close the airflow up a little bit because I feel like the airflow is a lot. So we're going to go to about three quarter airflow. And I believe the, the closing the airflow gives me more of a cloudier or a more uh, compacted cloud. It doesn't dissipate as much. So like I said, it's a it's a great tank. Um, it's fairly cheap, I'd say, for being a new mod. Great for cloud contests. However, for most of you vapors that think you can just take anything to a cloud contest, do not take tanks to a cloud contest that accepts RDAs because there are RDAs out there that will overpower any tank you have. One thing I did have, I had a limitless tank one time. Great for cloud and flavor. I got it in uh, Oklahoma right after AIT and I ended up selling it but I couldn't find coils anywhere for it but I have won cloud contests with that over RDAs. However, if you're going to a big vape convention and doing a cloud contest there, do not use a tank, please. You're just gonna make yourself look bad, okay? So, one thing I can say about Smock is they are a very trusted brand. Um, I love their boxing, it's pretty dynamic here. Um, has your address on the back uh, obviously not for sale for minors if you're a minor watching this video I would like you to at least let your parents aware of what you're doing because if not it could end up bad uh, so vaping industry is very large nowadays uh, they are coming they're coming to say there are a lot of health effects from it I have not personally had health effects. I get vapor's tongue, but just drink water. You won't have vapor's tongue. Change your flavors every now and then. Don't vape up the same flavor forever, and you won't get vapor's tongue. Um, 
So yeah, so this is the TFV16 and my name is James and I am going to do more vaping reviews as I go along. Go ahead down below, hit the like and subscribe button and be sure to follow me back for any more of my vaping reviews. Thank you and have a great day.